Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing the shell challenge um, from Vixella's shell and you just saw it for a moment there. Um, I've already done a little bit of the outside. I didn't want to bore you with everything so I did the fencing and a pool with the pavement as the tiles and now I'm doing the grill. Um, and the seating outside as well as the lounging and uh, as you can see I also put in a hot tub and some trees to cover it and I also built an additional structure so on the left now you can see the garage where I already put some uh, two cars and now I'm just moving on along with the outside, so some planters and I decided to make it a family home so I needed something for the kids to play on and then I skip ahead again and um, you can see that I put in some more landscaping around the side and um, of course I put down the foundation for that because otherwise you can't really put it close to it even though they already fixed it a lot so it isn't as yeah bad as it was and now I just changed the columns um, to match the outside and um, also put in some spandrels and fencing and <laughs> I always forget to do that um, to put in lights before I do the um, the floor plan but uh, yeah I think it's fine, it's not that bad. It's not only me that can't see anything when I do the four pen. Sometimes I even do it, but not always. Um, and yeah, now you can see me doing the floor, uh, the wall paint. So I put a neutral um, color down downstairs, but then I wanted to spice it up a little. And um, I will do that, but First I did the upstairs and there I always did a feature wall in a sense so I put um, down a light pa um, main paint and then a feature wall that is darker. So in the master bed bedroom um, you will see when I put it uh, when I put the furniture in I put um, a dark red um, and as the feature wall, um, but it matches the rest, the main color, which is also kind of red. It's more like a peach. I like that color. Um, now I'm in the kitchen and first I put down the flooring and then of course everything that is supposed to be in the kitchen. So the cabinets and the um, counters and fridge, stove, sink. And then I changed the um, the wall paint, so it's more in interesting, uh, which made the kitchen a little bit dark. But I thought it would be fine. It doesn't always have to be really, really um, light inside. And also, um, I really like that tile and um, paint combination. So I like the teal with the grey, and um, the, I just did it in the kitchen and the rest of the room I um, painted um, grey um, like the whole wall, wall from top to bottom uh, or from bottom to top how would you say that? I think it's from top to bottom yeah and um, of course I um, also uh, oh yeah I sometimes I forget to put in lighting everywhere and then I move into the dark um, mode so I can see where it, it's missing, especially it's outside. Um, so I did that for a second there. And the next thing is the dining room. So I just, um, yeah, I chose the table and the chairs and the rug, what, what you put in a dining room normally. And then I moved on to the living room and um, I wanted to put a fireplace and a TV in the middle um, because you can't have windows there so um, I thought well, well that wall can't have windows either so it was the perfect wall for that 
and um, I made the living room match that thought so it fits in well and uh, I put in two couches and two seats um, two armchairs and a large coffee table in the middle and a small one to the sides of the couches and then um, in the back corner I wanted to do desks and because the family would be five um, I wanted to have two computers at least I'd only put in two in the end but I thought about maybe I could fit in something upstairs as well but there wasn't any room where I wanted to put anything but I think two computers is like a must if you have so many sims because you need computers for so many um, operations in the sims so I put them there and of course bookshelves um, also um, a chest table and then I moved on to the entrance where I put some shelving and um, at first I wanted to put in a normal table but it didn't fit so I changed it um, and then I moved up the stairs to the landing there and uh, made a nice sitting area where people can just sit and listening, listen to some music or read um, whatever they fancy to do there and then I moved on to the master bedroom uh, and here you can see that um, I don't know light pink or peach I, I can't really describe what that color is on the wall but um, that's what I chose and I, I actually like it and especially with that bed in mind the pink of the um, bed covers really fits in well there and then I wanted to be a little bit creative and do like a headboard from the um, shelving um, I don't know if I really like it, but I wanted to use that um, because I've never done it and I wanted to try something new. And then um, two closets for him and her um, and um, a mirror as well. And then I moved on to the kids room. So this is a toddler room, so I need a toddler toilet, uh, which I always forget. Also I skipped um, over the um, bathrooms because I think they are not as interesting as the other rooms and yeah I put in um, that uh, bunny I think is it it's um, it's not a bear it's a bunny I think and then I put a dollhouse down as well as a bookcase and some seating um, to yeah make sure that um, the toddler has everything he or she needs and then I moved on to the first uh, teen room um, and yeah it's basically it's it's a similar color um, but more peach than the master bedroom and um, I decided to make the sim that lives here um, a painter or um, that the sim that lives here paints um, so later you'll see me put in um, something to paint on and as well as well as some movie posters so it's the artistic sim um, that lives in this room and in this room I put in um, in the green room I put in the green bed of course but also I put in the dread treadmill um, as well as a science so that poster where um, someone is riding the rocket I, I'll put it in later and um, yeah I decided that this um, was like the techy um, sporty um, room or the sim that lives here is like techy and sporty um, but also I wanted to have everyone access to some kind of sporty machine so I put in um, the in the uh, landing area I put something as well and then I moved on to the outside for a moment to put in some seating as well as some planters um, some more I already put some um, there on the right um, behind the garage but I thought some more wouldn't be um, wrong and also I needed something to fill the space so of course I put in some yeah and then um, as I always do I go to the uh, decorations tab in um, in the ob object menu 
and go through every um, sub genre in the decorations tab and um, yeah, decorate basically um, make sure that every room has a little bit of plants um, and um, a little bit of decoration so paintings and also I always forget to put in um, the curtains everywhere so in some rooms I put in curtains but often I just forget to do it um, especially in the living room um, I'm I'm more likely to remember um, to put it in the um, bedrooms but in the living room I often forget to do it um, until the end when I go to the tab and see oh yeah there's window co coverings as well so I need to put that in there but yeah I, I um, start with the plants because it's the first category and I put in put plants everywhere where there's like a weird corner um, where it doesn't quite look right um, with without anything in there um, so that's the first thing and then I basically do the same with the um, paintings just with the weird um, parts of the wall that are like bare and there's nothing there and it looks weird so I just put a painting there to make it more interesting um, yeah and oftentimes I use like ev so so many different paintings because I don't like to repeat the paintings I pick so um, especially in a build that large there's quite a few paintings in there and um, sometimes I'm I have trouble um, finding a new one or one that fits but I haven't used yet so um, in the master bathroom I even um, repeated a painting that I, I've already used um, just because there wasn't anything that I wanted to put there that I thought that really fits um, and there you just saw me put down the um, rocket painting I like it but um, usually I think it's just too small so I size it up often and yeah and then I put in some more paintings it's so many paintings but it I think honestly that it's just the best way to fill up space on the walls and now you can see me putting in curtains um, because I always forget them I, I think I didn't do any curtains um, in that build before I went to that decorations tab um, I just I just forgot <laughs> I don't know why it's such, such an important feature like in real houses because they often uh, define a space and make it much more um, like it looks better it looks just yeah better I don't I don't even know how I could describe it it's just um, it looks weird when you walk in into a room without any window coverings because you're just so exposed to the outside especially if the windows are large so I didn't put any coverings in the kitchen but the windows are smaller there and also it, it doesn't really matter because in the kitchen you're not usually like um, vulnerable so you're not naked or anything um, which yeah it would be weird um, if you um, if you could see in oh, to the room where someone is changing so yeah I am conscious of that and I also don't want anyone to like look at me while I'm watching TV or something so I think uh, the window the covers are quite necessary at least in real life and I don't think Sims can be embarrassed if people are like walking by as long as they're in a room and no one else is there I don't think they get embarrassed even though um, if you like make a room and put in the floor length length uh, windows in there um, and make them like change or go to the portal I don't think they care um, yeah which is weird I think yeah and now I'm still decorating I'm even uh, in the last in the second to last tab um, almost so there's just some soap for the bathrooms and uh, books um, of course also the entry always 
um, get something from that that tab because there's usually those um, those shoe racks. I really like them um, because they just they fill up the space in the entryway. Oftentimes, um, there's just like a weird space there, um, and they fill it up really well. So I like using those in the entry way. And then, um, yeah, there's there's so many things that you can use there. Um, uh, also, there's uh, in the in the last tab, there's a lot of um, bathroom things that you can use. So um, the that tall cabinet that I put in um, downstairs and in the master bath bathroom uh, is from there, and I really like it. I just think it's like a small. It's not. It's a narrow. A cupboard so it sits in uh, many spaces which I like and then I usually the last thing is go into the de debug menu I of course I I already used it a lot in that build so there's a lot of debug um, items in the landscaping and um, so it's not like I haven't used it until now but um, I li like to go through the ho whole of the debug menu just to find some more things that I could put um, outside or inside. Um, oftentimes the remote control for the um, TV I like to put in and also the coffee bag. I just, th I, just um, I think it, it looks nice. It's a nice clutter item for the kitchen and I like to put it in there. And j yeah, I'm just scrolling and scrolling and looking at everything um, and uh, oftentimes I do actually find something that really fits nicely. Um, I especially like this um, little table um, because it looks good outside. There's, um, a, there's a plant um, that is on that table. Um, you can find it in the base game um, without using debug I think. Um, and um, I'd like just the table because I like to put in put um, the gardening stuff on it. I think it looks kind of like a garden um, item. I don't know why. And I like to put those things on there. So I do often. And yeah, I'm I'm just searching through it and finding more and more things to put um, in the build or outside of the build to make it a little prettier and um, now I'm lining out that uh, section of the garden um, to make it more defined. Um, also I decided to, you can't see it now because the grid is on, but um, the pavement that I used outside has a four, like a four um, square um, uh, pattern. So um, I, so you can see like the stronger white lines um, have a one plate of pavement. I don't know if, if I'm explaining myself uh, good, but I think you can see it later when you uh, when you look at the screenshots. And I like to put them. Uh, I didn't like that to cut them, so I decided to put it in those like uh, step like patterns outside as well. So I did that and then I uh, went back and uh, again made it night to put in some more lights so it would look better outside and inside and you can actually uh, yeah and then I'm basically uh, finished but then I noticed oh the garage doesn't have any doors so I need to do that and then I noticed that inside the garage I didn't decorate at all. So yeah I did that um, as well. And then I was, I think that was all I needed to do for the build. Now you can see it from every angle real quick. And then I put it under. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I wanted to fill in the planters some. So you actually have some plants there. And then also I uh, needed to put something on the front porch. Because I, I wanted to upload it. Um, but then I noticed um, it looks a little bit bare at the front, so I thought, well, then I need to put in, um, put in something on the fr uh, at the front. 
some planters to make it more um, colorful essentially. So yeah, that is basically it. I just fiddled with it a little more so it looks really really pretty and of course I uploaded it to the gallery and yeah this is my submission if you will for the shell challenge even though it's not a competition. Now you can see some screenshots of it, first the outside and later you can also see the inside um, and of course you can look at it yourself on the gallery. My ID is the same as my YouTube channel name TGG Sims and I hope you enjoyed the build and my video about it and will consider liking and subscribing and I hope that you come back for more later and I wish you a very very great week. Bye!